Hi, LJ Ginaghi here with LJ Realties, and today I'm gonna to talk about the book that we just finished reading. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And honestly, I had read this book about four or five years ago and I hadn't picked it up since, and it was our last month's book club book. And I'm so excited that it was because it really brought back forth a lot of the key topics. And while I do implement a lot of them in my day-to-day -day life, it was very refreshing to pick up the book again. And after having done some of the things in there, be able to kind of reflect on it and see where am I not stepping up enough? Where am I not taking enough risk? So let's break down some of the main um, topics of the book. The reason why it's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad is because Robert had his father who worked for, he was a government employee. He was what he considered his poor dad because he didn't have a very open financial mind. And because of that, he was usually very kind of rigid and he was structured. He worked for the government for many years. He had his pension and he kind of went about his business very securely, didn't take any risk. And because of that, was very limited in his growth. Now, he also had his rich dad and his rich dad was actually the father of his best friend who he started learning from when he was very, very young. Instead of going to play softball, he started working for him for free and in order to learn very valuable life lessons. One of the lessons that he learned was that if you stop exchanging your time for money and start actually using your value or what you know in exchange for money, you can actually start using leverage and start gaining a lot more income and grow a lot more rapidly, okay? One of the other key topics that he talks about is surrounding yourself with really important, really smart people. You don't need to be the smartest person in the room. You just need to make sure you hire and you're surrounded by the smartest people in the room so that they can work for you. They can help you build your portfolio, help you build your investments, and you're gonna be more protected by doing so. The next thing that he looks at is risk. Okay, when we're talking about risk, it's when you're young, you, you can take a lot of risk. You still have a lot of time. Even if your portfolio completely crashes, well, it's gonna pick back up. And he really highlights the fact that when the market is down, this is an excellent opportunity to buy in because when most people are running out, historically speaking, the market always bounces back. If we're talking about stock market, if we're talking about real estate, unless there's some sort of critical event that's changing the entire landscape of real estate or stocks, which hasn't happened yet, the market will bounce back. So if you make sure you make sec kind of secure investments in the sense of stable industries that are continuously growing, even if there is a correction like we're seeing right now in the market actually, with time, it will correct itself, it will bounce back, okay? The next thing he focuses on is a lot of people have a poor mentality. When I refer to, what I'm referring to is that most people say, oh, I don't have enough money to invest in a coaching seminar, or I, don't, I can't go to a conference to learn about that because it's just not worth the return on investment, I don't have the money, I can't deal with it, I can't do it. And more times than not, those people are just, they're talkers, they don't do anything, all right? They always stay in the back of the room and they always tell you why not to do something, but they've never done anything themselves and therefore we probably shouldn't pay too, too much attention to them. He kind of hammers down the fact that the best investment you can make is in yourself, okay? If you can go to a course and learn something from somebody who has done it, who is proven, who has a track record, and then you can just replicate it, well, that's an immediate source of income for you. That is a huge, you just skipped a bunch of the learning curve and a lot of the steps just by exchanging a little bit of money for it, okay? Now, sometimes these sums seem large and that might be a little bit overwhelming, but that being said, I promise you, I go to tons of conferences every year. I go to workshops because I always wanna improve my financial self, my personal self, as well as my, my content creation, whatever it is, anything I'm trying to work on in myself, I gotta go see the people who are doing it at the highest level. And by emulating what they do and taking away their lessons, I can always keep improving and growing in that sense. So those are some of my top takeaways from the book. I really encourage you to read it. He's got a couple other books that come with that as well as a cash flow um, game. So a board game that you can play to really kind of highlight some of the lessons that he teaches in it. If you don't know, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich, or Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I highly recommend it. Check it out. See you next week.